All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today I'm back with another video here. So today uh, we are talking about day one of 2022-23 training camp. Not much for the on ice. Uh, it was literally bag skates and literally skating and suicides and that was it. It was each group went, they brought out the long yellow rope of death as me and m many other people who were there were calling in and they just put it around and the guys were skating uh, Mason Millman threw up. There was a bunch of different things from guys being exhausted to hunched over, barely being able to skate towards the end of it. Some guys did pretty good at it. Uh, I thought Kevin Hayes looked good. Um, Ivan Provorov, who is one of the more in shape kind of guys. Um, I honestly thought Wade Allison looked pretty good as well. But uh, again, it's just day one of camp, not much, but we did get some clarification on some more injuries. Um, Couturier seeing a specialist. Uh, today for a second opinion, Ryan Ellis out indefinitely. Um, you know, it, that is the 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 most frustrating um, piece from today. You know, w w when you really sit there and you look at it and you actually go back and you think like, I it, it is very hard for me to. It, it's so hard for me to sit there and think that no one knew that there was something else wrong with Ellis. Like, it's very hard for me to think that, especially with how everything has gone. Um, a couple more, Patrick Brown had off-season back surgery. I actually saw Brown at rookie camp last week. He was on the opposite rink when they switched sides, and he was skating, but he wasn't um, putting much pressure or anything like that. Farabee is cleared for uh, non-contact practice. Um, he's coming along fine. Uh, Brink is now... Um, timetable is still like late December, January to play. And Ryan Fitzgerald has a lower body injury. He's out one to two weeks. So that's pretty much it for the injuries and all that stuff. More than negative things. Um, you know, I, I, honestly, I, I thought, I thought a lot of it was good. I mean, I thought Torts had a, a pretty solid presser. Um, you know, Fletcher mentioned some things as well, but you know, this kind of, you know, the, the way that this has kind of gone is like Torch doesn't really know everybody. He's mentioned that. He's trying to figure out who was what. And he says he's going to play the young guys. So we know that. You know, it's not like it's going to be a thing of, oh, well, you know, is Torch going to ruin this guy, ruin that guy? Like, I don't think that anyway, but I know a lot of other people do. And, you know, when you look at Torch and I look at that, you know, I'm, I'm very optimistic about that fact. Um, you know, he said he hasn't really penciled Hayes or Guterrier as like the ones he had. He doesn't really know about Coots. Um, you know, it, it seems like he's going to be getting a call from him soon. He said he doesn't know who, um, you know, who will play where. Uh, he's, he's not really trying to think that way. He's trying to, you know, find some other things first. Um, you know, he, he, he seems like everybody was just kind of getting through it today. And, and the, the kind of, um, you know, it's funny he mentioned Delorier and how much he struggled with it. But he still fought through it and kind of got into it. And that's kind of what it seems like that they're trying for. And I said this before. I don't really think their their goal this year is to win or to purposely tank or to do any of that, anything like that. I think it's just more of to fix all of the other internal issues that they have. And that today was, I think, a step towards that. And um, you know, look, I, look, I had to put out this tweet earlier. Um, it's very hard not to because when you look at last year and you look at how many fans were there and you look at it today and how little fans were there, it's very hard for me not to bring that up because, I mean, when I was a kid, I used to literally wait in a line outside of the Voorhees Training Center, and, like, I, it, it would take longer to get in, and there would be a literal line that would go down down the block to get into that building. And now it's like nobody goes, nobody shows up. Dev camp was empty, rookie camp was pretty empty, and now training camp is even empty. And and that picture is literally a year apart uh, on this same day. It's a Thursday. Um, first day of training camp Thursday, that was September 23rd when I took that. This is September, what's today, the 22nd. So that kind of shows you right there. I mean, look, I don't like posting that stuff because I don't like, you know, it, it's... It's not like I, I want to sit there and be like, oh, well, look at how many, you know what I mean? Like, nobody wants to post that negative stuff, but you have to. And it's too glaring not to for me. Um, if, if you are planning on going to training camp, 
the, the groups did get announced as you see them on the screen here. Um, pretty much a good mix of, of, of A and um, group A and B, and then also C and D as well. There's, again, a lot of guys in this camp. There's a lot of mix of younger guys, mix of older players. Um, so all of that stuff is, is, is kind of factors in, and, um, you know, pretty much everybody has, um, everybody has kind of seen a, a, a different kind of, uh, camp and, and how everybody's kind of adapted to it. It's just more of adapting towards the style. So we'll see how that is. But as for the on ice stuff, um, again, it wasn't much today. Tomorrow is more scrimmages. As for, uh, you know, the quotes and stuff, the Ellis thing is, is very unfortunate. I mean, it, essentially, it's a bonus if they'll get him. Um, again, still hoping for a Couturier. But again, I feel like the basis of this camp is just trying to learn everybody. That's that's kind of what the theme is right now. Um, you know, I, I mean, as for most of that stuff, uh, Torts also said, and you see obviously, he had him in New York. Um, you know, he was a you know terrific man, said he's, you know, pretty much willing to, to kind of to use him in pretty much any area possible. He knows he kind of can. Um, D'Angelo said that this was kind of his, his first look. Uh, you know, his, his first kind of thing when he plays is to kind of look for his partner. So I'm curious how that will kind of go out throughout the season. Seems like he's been getting along with Provorov as well. Um, but that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers, so please hit the subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, that is uh, that's all for me today. Thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you all again soon.